So we're now, it's season eve. Didn't feel like two minutes ago, Tim, since we were doing the interview and I said, I won't be having any sleepless nights until that final week of the season. And trust me, I've had a few this week. You know, I think any other manager, uh, we've been delighted with pre-season, with our squad, but it's been really hard this week. You know, I've had to have difficult conversations with with players that, that have been great, but just haven't made the final cut. But like I said, it's the eve of the season. You know, there's lots to be optimistic and happy about. And like I said, we're delighted with pre-season and can't wait now to board the coach to, to Morpeth on, on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's weird how it comes around. Obviously, we're kind of like, we go through pre-season. We've had a quiet pre-season than normally in terms of fixtures. Um, but we very quickly run into an absolute soup of like Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. And it's, it's probably the hardest time. I mean, I, I like it. It's Christmas where games just come thick and fast. Uh, three games in eight days, is it? Or, or four games in two weeks. It's, it's a lot of football to, to contain within. And hopefully you go injury free. But we all know at this level of football that you're not usually that lucky. You try and get off to a good start because people look at that first result or second result and think, how have you done? You don't want to get cut adrift at the bottom of the league. You don't want to race away at the top of the league. You're kind of just trying to find a balance. So it's, listen, for us, we couldn't wait for the start of the season and pre-season has been brilliant. I've said it, you know, how many times now and we're delighted. All the staff have done super work behind the scenes. The players are incredibly fit. Their attitudes have been exemplary. Our results in pre-season have been positive on the whole. So all we could do now is, like I said, board that coach, hopefully put our game plan uh, into action and the result comes to fruition at the end of it. And if not, you don't stop doing what you believe in because we've produced a lot of good work over the summer and that's going to hopefully take us forward to having a positive campaign and that's what we're all focused on. Yeah, I mean, in terms of squad composition as well, I think it's probably one of our biggest squads going into sort of like the season. Um, I don't think we've got any lone players. You know, they're all basically our players. Uh, got one injury, which I think is Jordan Buckley. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but then, so we're going basically, sort of, you're going to make a decision, sort of like probably Saturday night, or sorry, Friday night, Saturday morning, basically picking that squad and you're going to have to leave people out. So the only lone player is Lewis Rawstone, who we got yeah. from, from Radcliffe, uh, but we see him as our player because he's, you know, the deal that Bernard and John have done with us, he's, he's brilliant. Curtis Jones, he's, he's out, but we know that he's on the recovery in Jordan Buckley. But after that, we've just done the squad photograph night tonight, and I think you've got 20 bodies sat up there. So that's our squad. You know, we're not blessed where we can pay 20 players. We all know, you know, we, most managers have got to get it down to 16. So there's a lot of conversations to be had between now and then. But I'm saying to the lads who don't make the trip or, or do make the trip and don't get stripped is, you know, a lot can happen in two weeks. And you might not be, you might not have made the first cup for Morpeth or maybe works up, but it might be different against Ilkeston or it might be different against Whitby or it might be different in the FA Cup weekend. So if you enjoy being part of what they're part of, I'm sure they will be, then people will stay around. But it was key, Tim, that we, we, we recruited well. We have used the loan market a lot in previous years, and I'm not going to harp on the reasons why people know that. But now, hopefully, we've got a settled squad. We've done a lot of work with them. It's been nice where we can name team sheets in pre-season, and we haven't had to put trialists, trialists, trialists. You know, the lads and the and the fans have got familiar with each other, which is positive. And, and all we can do now is, is look forward. And same as every season, Tim. You know, we take it in six games, six game chunks. We've got our points total. We all know we underachieved last season, and that's been a constant reminder. But there's a lot of things that people don't see behind the scenes that we've done this summer that's been slightly different. And hopefully, you know, we can we can answer them questions and, and right questions to to question, you know, some of the performances and, and maybe the team last year and even me. But hopefully we could draw a line under that and, and really move forward and move this club where it needs to be. Yeah, I mean, I think speaking as a fan, one of the things that excites me the most is that forward line. You know, I'm looking and thinking, obviously, you've got naturally Adam Lafondra stands out. Um, you know, he, he's going to. Um, but we've got Jordan, who we know can score goals at this level. Well, we've got both Jordans, really, mm. can, can score goals. So it, it's giving us that cutting edge. Where, I mean, you and I have had conversations about how many chances did we make that not take? Tim, the times I looked around at you last season because you just sit just above me and I roll my eyes, you are head in your hands and we hadn't converted the chances we should have done. And then we'd be moaned in interviews afterwards. We needed that goal scorer. Nothing against the lads that we were in the club, like Buckley, etc. But we needed that out and out nine, which we've got in Lafondre. We needed the likes of Gavin on a Fitzmartin back fit, which we've got. We needed that support in Jordan Preston, Aaron Bennett, to go make that with Buckley, Lewis Rawstone. So our, our, our attacking line is exciting. Throwback in Callum Gribbon, which makes everyone, uh, you know, kind of think, wow, this could be the really exciting. We're strengthening the midfield. To, to help the likes of Donoghue uh, and Munro. And then we've strengthened at the back as well. So not just at the centre-half, but with the keeper. So we've done what 
we said we'd do. It's been a, it's been a hectic close season and pre-season, but now we've got to trust our processes, not sit back, but trust our processes, and hopefully, you know, with the work we've done, the recruitment we've done, the season comes to fruition where we where we hope it will be. And there's loads of talk where will we end up, you know, what the bookies are saying. We've got our own little ambition, and, and we know that if we continue to keep technical forward, which we want to do, with last season being an exception, uh, we'll be all happy. But we've got a plan. We've got to stick to the plan, and we've got to trust the plan. And we just want the fans to get right behind this plan and see exciting football, make more noise than we've ever made before going into our 20th year, smash the season tickets, hills, do everything we can do, get the pitch right, get the camaraderie right, get the fans and the players all together. And who knows? Who knows what can happen? You know, we've got we've got major competition in the league, but we've got a good squad, and I'm and I'm confident going into the season we've got a good squad. Okay, well, uh, it's probably I can't. I'm going to struggle with maths again. Well, basically, it's a number of hours uh, from now. We'll be catching up again after the Morpeth game. So uh, until then, good luck and uh, let's forward, look forward to a good season. Thanks for anything, Tim, and we'll see everybody at Morpeth on Saturday. Mm-hmm.